Okay, at some point in time, we're all gonna do it. We have to, it's just the nature of these nice little plastic kayaks. Eventually, you're gonna drill into this hole. You're gonna drill into this hole right here and you're gonna put a screw in it. It's just inevitable. But let me show you how to do it the easiest way where you're least likely to develop any kind of leak through it. That being said, let's get into it. Okay guys, let's get this party started. Right off the bat, we're gonna drill our first pilot hole. We've kind of lined up where this wants to be. You can see I move it over a little bit, but I'm just gonna get this first pilot hole drilled. And you wanna make sure you clear this out, but the bit I'm using here is just slightly smaller than the bolt or the screw that we're gonna put in here. And as you can see right here, get down here where the camera can see, um, I'm going to use a uh, adhesive sealant and later on in the video I'll show you exactly what type I'm using but uh, it's something we've used since we opened the shop but I'm going to coat just the bottom part of those threads. Um, very important here to use a screwdriver. Um, don't use a power tool on this. So on the tip of that, that adhesive is going to lay down inside those threads and as you screw this on the heat from putting this screw through the plastic, uh, through that pilot hole that you drilled, is gonna create some heat that seals up normally, but also with that adhesive, it's gonna make it that much more of a seal, and it's also gonna help hold that in place and not allow you to over-tighten. Don't over-tighten these things, man. Just get that first one done, and then we'll move on. And we'll kind of line everything up on that. On that, you can see, kind of just doing a real scientific way of uh, getting the spacing here. Just kind of using the, trying to get this as far out as I can, but you know, you're drilling on a kayak. Um, so I'm gonna drill the opposite back hole. Um, you're gonna see me drill this one here. And basically this is gonna be a rinse and repeat. Um, it's probably overkill, but that silicone adhesive, uh, you know, kind of a sealant it, adhesive is just going to make this a lot easier. And you're going to see when I get this one done, um, probably have a little bit of squeeze out at the bottom of it. Uh, but that just goes to help keep everything down. And keep in mind that most of these kayaks are not, they're not molded flat. So it's always a good idea just to kind of check everything and as you go. But generally, I always start at the front. And then I move, like on this uh, this yak attack, this particular yak attack mount, I always go to the back one on the opposite side, and then I'll just work in a torque pattern. You know, I'll do the one opposite, and then come back to the front, and then do the two metal ones, uh, which we'll see here in a minute. But it's all hand tightened here. It's a, it's a power drill, but I'm, e I'm even easy when I do that. Make sure I clear out everything around it. And uh, as you can see, I got a little bit out there, but... That's not bad, that just helps. I'm just feeling this right now just to make sure there's no, there was no weird spacing there. And then, like I said, this is purely a rinse and repeat. Uh, you can see the pattern that I'm doing. I went back to the front, uh, opposite of what I originally started. Then I moved back to the back and then I'm gonna go opposite middle, get it done. Once again, I'm. It's a little bit of overkill because I'm silicone and adhesiving all of these uh, things. I just don't want this ever to move, and believe me, it's never coming out now. So, yeah, that's that. And like you see right here, it's just a clear adhesive sealant silicone by Permatex. We've been using this since we opened the shop, and we've never had anything fail. So now I'm going to, after it's cured a little bit, I'm going to see if I can get this to, you know, hold. And... I'm going to move this out and this is one of those things that you know we like to do as we're prototyping things and putting different things on is you know that that little bit of fit and finish of just not installing it but then kind of looking at it. and this one of the things i like doing is making sure that everything is on my boat while i'm rigging something like this or I'm, all the accessories are on the boat because i want this 
you know, what I'm doing right here is the whole reason I drilled and put that track back there was so I could have a three rod holder on the side, but I want that those rods to be tucked up as close as I can. And as you can see here, I'm kind of pushing it back there and you can see it kind of flexes that pole against the power pole mount back there. And then I pull it back just a little bit just to make sure everything lines up properly before I set everything in place.